fucking good, you people out there that are watching us. Oh! Hello, everybody. <laughs> My name is Gary Brown. This is Alejandro Rios, and it's all, all good. good. All That's good, right. Baby. Now, for those of you who are tuning in from last week, I'll tell you, we had a bit of a contest going on where you were trying to describe us in five words. Okay, now we got a winner. It's up on the website. We can check it out. We've got evidence. It was Mr. Perry Moran who described us as a cosmic phantasm of fantastic, funky freshness. That is one of the coolest descriptions I've ever heard. Period. Wow. And that's that's what that's what someone thinks about jam therapy. And that's that's something special cuz that's that's the point of music and uh, experiencing like that ethereal joy that comes from our sound waves is that it takes you to other places, and if it takes you out into the cosmos. That's awesome. That's what Stephen talking. Oh man, Stephen Hawkins was all about going into the cosmos and just going out there. That's what Hawkins was talking about. Right? Hawkins was talking about. You heard it from the man himself. shooby de doo 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 Now, let me tell you about all things jam therapy, just to make it very clear, okay? We've got some shows this upcoming December, okay? We're going to be right. taking it off for Thanksgiving, enjoying our food and indulging. But, come December, we're hitting it hard. Starting on December 1st, we're fresh out the gate. We're going to be at Mohawk, playing with... Nomad City. Oh, man. That's right. They're going to be releasing some uh, material that night, so it ought to be fantastic. Okay? We've got December 9th at the Spider House. All right? We've got December 31st. Yes, you heard it. That is New Year's Eve. New Year's! It's going to be a KUTX event also at the Spider House. We're going to be representing the 70s in the 70s room. Who better else? Who, who else can do it? Your boys. That's right. That's right. Now, Alejandro, why don't you tell me about what you've got going on right now? What I got going on? Well, uh, you know, a lot, a lot goes on in this mind. Uh, you know, as a musician, you've got to have a lot of stuff on your mind. And True. obviously, most, 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 uh, most musicians think about love. How beautiful that thing love is. Yeah. Beautiful like a rose. And beautiful like you. And let me just tell you, when you find love, you hold on to it. All right? Wow. Don't pick it. I mean, you know, you can pick it. But just when you, when you pick it, you look at it, you get in that flower, stick your nose in it, and cherish it and dance with it. All right? Because love is freaking rad, just like, you know, life itself. So, uh, you know, hold on to that bit of info. That's just what's been on my mind. Had to let that out. Uh, you know, inspirational words of the day for you. Nice. You know, just impromptu. Where does he get this stuff from, people? <laughs> oh, no. Where does he get it? Oh, all right, <laughs> so. What's yeah. next on the uh, agenda? Actually, now that I know what you have to say, I would like to still hear what all of you viewers have to say. You've got one week. Think of how to describe us in five words. We'll put it up on the website, www.youneedjamtherapy.com and submit your submissions. You can set them right here. We're gonna put them on the website. You know, you're going to be able to tell your friends, hey, look, I'm on a website, and it's not Facebook. That's hip. That's pretty hip, man. And when you see this website, it's, it's a cool website. I mean, we've been working hard on it. Uh, yes. This guy right here designing it. Indeed, kind of. Homemade. I'm working on it. I'm learning, guys. Learning curves. Ah. So, uh, Alejandro, are you ready for this week's culture and healing <laughs> section. Yes, I am. Oh, he's ready. Okay. He's excited. Check it out. First, let me get another swig out of my uh, my bush cup. I'm, in here, I've got yerba mate, uh, which uh, is Spanish for grass. And I don't know what mate means, but... Really? Grass, yes. It's yerba. 
but uh, you know the Amazonians and countless other people you can get it at Juice Land uh, wakes you up it's way better than coffee and you feel way more cultural and classy when you drink it so pinkies up fellas and fellas fellows and fellas I'm looking for some class I'm looking for some hip classness are well, you telling me, me this yerba mate is gonna do it for me yeah it'll school you nice Culture and healing today. Oh. Let's go to the sweet and sensuous country of India. Because today we're going to talk about an instrument that a lot of y'all might be familiar with. Uh, if you know who Nora Jones is, you probably know her father. If you're, you know, well versed in knowing things, trivia, little trivia facts. I didn't Ravi know that. Shankar. Wow. Yeah. And if you know Ravi Shankar, you know that this right here is a sitar. Ooh. And let me tell you, this, this is some exquisite like craftsmanship that has been made in this musical device right here. Look at this. There's a swan head up front here. Look at all these knobs. I broke it a little bit. Uh, it's gaff taped on there, but nice. you know. You gotta use gaff tape when you got it. But look, look at all these intricate designs. That's just what I love about all these cultures. They just put all these like spiritual designs and there's real ivory on this, you know, made from elephant's tusks. Uh, we got the sympanic strings, you know, they, they, they reside under here and like whenever you play the actual instrument itself, they resonate and resonate in your soul. You know, if you're blind, you can really feel it. Uh, you know, because you feel vibrations on the regs. So, you know, let's see what, you know, what kind of weird projections we can get out of this. You know, that's a little bit of something, you know, a Cuban uh, man's interpretation of playing the sitar. Um, you know, you, you can, you can, you know, think about it later or right now how awesome it was that you heard that. Who are some other notable sitar players? Oh, there? come on. Andra? Well, you, you got to know George Harrison. Classic. Think of Norwegian Wood. Okay. Um... Jimmy Page, actually, he usually takes the credit for being, like, the first person to play sitar. A little known fact there. Interesting. Uh, I play sitar. <laughs> okay. A little known fact for you there. And, uh, you know, just... <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. all you know. There, huh? there, there needs to be more people out there, so you pick it up as well. So do your part. Learn sitar. It's not easy. It's not. No, it's not. So do it! Now, are you ready for this next segment? Yes, I am. We've been talking about it. We're going to bring it to you. Some of you may be wondering, Jam Therapy, what do you do in your spare time? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. The most blue-collar game of all time. And it's a little game we like to call Flip Cone. Oh, Alejandro, on. grab this camera. Let's go show him how it's done. All right. Look at me. Look at that tiger. We're going outside, people. Today we have our fantastic flip cone instructor, Mr. Bradley McGlon. Brad, why don't you tell us the history of flip cone? All right. As far as I know, this game was, an in was invented by our friend Chris. Now, this is a road cone. It's a cone. Like you might find anywhere. Along Anywhere. the side of the highway. You take this cone. <laughs> Go on. Whoa! And you bring that cone with it. Well, I'll tell nice. You, this, this looked very easy. Okay. Oh, it's not. I'm just that good. Is this something that I'm going to be able to pick up on? Maybe. I don't know. Let's let's find out, shall we? Flipping for the win. 
<laughs> Whoa! Oh, man, man, this this is uh, something was, spectacular. That wasn't it's as the... hard as I thought. Oh, come on, let's give the bear a shot. She's won a shot. All right, we're in dreamland right now. Bear taking a flip cone shot. <laughs> Close, but no cigar for our show bear. Now, Brad, how would we typically play this game? What is the objective? Well, the objective, as you might be able to see, is to get that cone on top of that cone. Brilliant. Oh. Normally, there's two teams, and the first team to five shots wins this game. A victory? A victory. Now, am I going to beat Mailbox? So we're one and one. Oh, See, now does this count, Brad? No, what happened that here? did not count. See, as I rang the cone, the big cone fell over. Ah, so that's that is what happened. no point. No point. For time purposes, we are going to be playing to mm -mm. two. The score's all tied up. It's intense. Oh. Ooh. Come on, man! Let's do some action running shots. Come on. So you can so you can get a little behind the butt action. Oh nice. Oh the heat is on, people! The heat is on. This is getting intense, Ooh, Mailbox. You're laughed at. <laughs> I don't like ridicule. Good thing Brad left the stuff. As you can see, our lovely backyard, full of fun activities. Ooh. The dreaded final point. For those of you who play Flip Cup, you know how nerve-wracking this moment is. <laughs> yes, they do. Oh! All right, watch a master. He's gonna take a celebrity shot. Okay. Come on, baby. Oh. Well, I'm just too strong, I guess. Too strong. And oh! <laughs> oh, what? What? Brad. Everyone, Brad. everyone that's watching knows that he did not just beat you me. See that? Everyone oh. knows that he did not just beat me. Hey, dude, on your live stream, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you know? But on this live stream, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good, baby. That's right. Let's go back to the studio. Brad, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Instruction, dancing bear. You're killing it as always. Back to the action. Here we are. Mm. Uh, well, that feels comfortable. That was. Did you guys see that valiant victory? I know you did. Mm. Yeah, it feels good to let out that competitive nature. Uh, nature. Nature. nature, 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 nature. You know, um, it's it's good for a good success drive. You know, like just letting out that testosterone and like grit of just wanting to win. You know, so hold on to that. So uh, all I do yeah. is win, 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 no, no matter, matter what. what. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you. If you know that sound, you already know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be wrapping it up. Please, oh, man. go to our website over here. I got it brought up. We've got all sorts of things going on. Oh, look at that beautiful face. That's me. And if you scroll down to the very bottom here, you're gonna see a poll. Please answer those questions so we know what to do. We know what's gonna be fantastic. 
you know was gonna be fantastic, and we are gonna do it. Hit this little donate button, so that way we can get some fuel, and we can do the wonderful things that you do. Look at you, Mr. Pat Phelps, I remember you from episode number one. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, it is all good. Comments, ladies and gentlemen, it has been all, all good. good. Yeah.